Mark Carney has today warned that household debt could be a major risk to the British economy and that it could push Britain back into a recession when interest rates rise. Many families, according to the Bank of England Governor, are vulnerable as a result of overstretching themselves financially in order to get themselves onto the housing ladder. Carney said that history teaches that the British people do everything possible in order to pay their mortgages, which often means cutting back massively on their household expenditure. A report today from the think tank the Resolution Foundation warns that the number of households spending over half their income on repayments could jump from 600,000 to 1.1 million. Personal finance. Millions of families heading abroad for holidays this summer will see their money going further, with resort slices prices slashed by around a third. Holiday makers can expect a conversion rate of 619 euros for 500 pounds through the post office compared with 562 euros at this point last year. The research from post office travel money also found that prices in many resorts dropped significantly with the cost of a family meal in Crete having dropped by a quarter and resort, overall resort prices dropping by 31.4% in Croatia. In recruitment and HR, Mexican telecoms magnate Carlos Slim has called for a global three-day working week in which employees would have more days of leisure but work longer hours and continue their careers into their 70s. Many think that there are shifts in the UK labour market that mean a more flexible working week could be what the economy requires. However, not all analysts agree that this system would be an improvement on the five-day week. David Kern, chief economist at BCC, says that a working week of 33 hours would be a major decline in the numbers of hours worked and the productivity would not increase by enough to compensate for this. Property. Homeowners were relieved yesterday after Mark Carney suggested that a rate rise is perhaps not as imminent as speculated. Carney announced a focus on pay growth rather than employment after it was revealed that wages, the wage rises are currently at 0.3% a year, well below the 1.9% rate of inflation. Brian Murphy of the Mortgage Advice Bureau said that anyone paying a mortgage will be relieved that the bank has low wage growth firmly in its sights and will factor this reality into any decision.